Hey guys, it's Gus. And Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And today we're going to be doing our mouse tier list. Um, again, it's another anticipated video, but we finally got the time to freaking count how many mice we had, dude. Like, yeah. we had freaking take them all out. And then we have 35. We yeah. have one too many. <laughs> right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and start putting these mice in the tier list that they belong. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, this is the wired, right? The yeah. Steel wired? Nah. No, this, this ain't this it, ain't Chief. Chief. Yeah, this no. ain't it, Chief. Yeah, so automatically. 460. Four oh, I'm sorry, I cursed. <laughs> My bad. I have a sailor's mouth. Um, <laughs> So for $60, this is standard Teflon feet with the whack ass cable. I'm sorry, I'm cursing a lot. Uh, wow. Uh, with a whack cable. Uh, the only thing good about it is the shape. Not even the sensor's good. Um, yeah. You're paying a premium price for... No tier mouse. Yeah, for a little again, the only thing that's really good on it is the is the shape, and the, the shape, shape is, is really good. good. Yeah. Uh, but it, it doesn't deserve to go on the trash heap because it at least does something, right? So yeah, exactly. Get some else. Um, now the Eric Street Wireless. Wireless, yeah. I feel like that one's uh, can't go wrong, honestly, because it's wireless. Um, the shape's pretty good. The, the shape's good. pretty good. The sensor's really good. Um, my, my our copy had the same issue that the my, the freaking the wired one had, which yeah. is the wobbly mouse one and two. Yeah. Um, the crappy feet, hundred bucks. You know, I expect better, better build quality. Um, the feet, man, they need to change those freaking feet because those things are disgusting. Yeah. Like, that's like an instant replace. No spend, I don't have to spend another freaking 10, 15 bucks. And they scratched up your mouse pad, dude. Like I remember my mouse pad I picked up like lint. From the freaking moss pen, uh, yeah, dude. So I'm like, mm, I don't know how that's also. It's kind of going, uh, you know, we we kind of have to put it on the can't go wrong tier list because the Steel Series fans fucking scare yeah, me. They're a lot of fanboys. Yeah, <laughs> so you know, just out of fear, it's definitely gonna go on the can't go wrong. Don't worry about it, boys. That's a good mouse, it's a good, it is a good shape, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good shape, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now let's go with the Coxies 100. Uh, trash tier, trash, trash tier, 100% gimmick. Uh, the smaller, like the better. No, nah. that's that's just that that can only be true for so long, you know. Yeah. Um, I feel like that point, they pushed the they, they tried the it. Boundaries. Yeah, they definitely pushed the boundaries. Quality <laughs> controls is horrible yeah, on it. Horrible. Uh, I think clicking mouse two or mouse activates one DPI. activates. A, yeah, yeah, it activates like the DPI, which is the little red button right there, like yeah. in the middle. And the red button's flimsy as heck too. Yeah. Yeah, it has to. Teflon feet, and I think it's like 60, 70 bucks right for it. You can get it on Amazon for like 45 bucks now. But still, even at 45 nah, bucks, now there's yeah, a lot it's better just, mice It's just, just going to break down on you within like two weeks, top. <laughs> so, yeah, and nah, definitely goes in the trash tier, 100%. Yeah, six holy, now that one goes in the eye. No, that one goes in the eye. I feel so, that one goes in the eye. Now, this one does have Teflon feet, but you know what? The shit was surprisingly all right. Yeah. It was one of the safer ergo mice. I remember it really, using it. Really it. I, had a, I had a good time with it. I had no complaints. The build quality was pretty good. Yeah. The Moss 1 and 2, I think they're Juan or Blue Dot or something and like they're that. Heavy but they're as heavy hell, Yeah, they were dude. heavy for oh, me. Oh, dude. Like, gaining after a while with them. Trying yeah, to click it on them. Tired. It's, yeah, it legit. Yeah. Like, I was trying Kovacs with this uh, at one point, mm -hmm. and my fingers got tired doing tough friends, dude. If you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it for the shape. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like, uh, yeah. but you know, then again, it's not a bad shape. So yeah, definitely, definitely goes in the high tier. Let's see now the G203. Honestly, the G203. So the G203 was like yeah. my first gamer mouse. Yeah, that was my, my first I, gamer mouse. Before that, I was using Red Dragon mice. Mm -hmm. But when they went with the G203, I felt the build quality was pretty good. The only thing that not really that kind of bothered me was the cable because that cable was pretty whack and the feet weren't the smoothest. But I paracorded and stuff like that and put hyperglides and dude. It's a good freaking mouse. I feel mouse. like when it comes to shape and price, yeah, you really can't go wrong. Yeah, on, exactly. On, I mean, you can't go wrong now, with Now, is it the world's greatest shape? Now that I've used all the other kind of mice? Nah, no. It's definitely honest, on, nah. like, it's definitely on the lower side, of, you know, like, when it comes to shapes. But price and for what you get yeah. and build quality on that thing, I mean, I just can't yeah. deny it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so. you can't go wrong, dudes. A uh, freaking Logitech G Pro Wireless. The G Pro can't go wrong. I, yeah. I feel like it doesn't. It, it doesn't go to the giving your monies because boy, they are taking all your monies because uh, <laughs> it's literally not worth a hundred and twenty five dollars. And I know people are gonna probably gonna hit me for that, but it's the, I'm just telling you like the absolute truth. Not worth one hundred twenty five dollars. But if you don't care about money, like some other, like a lot of people apparently, yeah. Um, you're gonna be one happy camper because uh, the shape's, the shape's good. good. Sensor's good. I mean, I can't deny that. The quality's good. Large Tech makes the best wireless mice out there, and I don't yeah. think anybody can disagree with me as far as today why it goes. You know so. exactly. Um, now the super light, I'm gonna put it in a can't go wrong. Can't too. go wrong. It's literally the exact same shape, lighter weight. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you don't have a G Pro wireless, you go and you get the super light. Again, it's not worth the money because you know it's 150 dollars. Oh yeah. boy, you know, like go show your mom or dad. Hey, look, I got this 150 dollar mouse. They're gonna look at you. They're gonna look at you kind of funny. You know. <laughs> Um, but again, that's neither here or there, you know, nobody's judging you, right? 
Um, if you do end up buying it, yeah, I feel like you're gonna be one happy yeah, camper. It's really it. light. The uh, Virgin Grey PT feet, you know. Grips suck. The grips suck. Yeah, just throw those away. You, 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 they, they don't. They don't really. They don't yeah, do the anything. They just. Grips. They just feel some. They like. They just. Yeah, they're not even grippy, honestly. <laughs> they're not, they're um, not. but hey, you know, Logitech at least tried this time, right? So yeah, also, honest. oh, also, Logitech battery on on, on those things oh, that's are freaking god insane, tier, dude. dude. They are crap. actually god tier. Like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't charge the Jeeper wireless. I think it was for like three weeks and I had it on my desk and I was using it, you know, like every now and then and I would use it, use it, yeah. and I charge it for three weeks, dude. And they, I charged it for like 15 <laughs> minutes and I was at like 90 something percent charge. And I was like, God. all right, cool. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah, so. that battery life's pretty good on those two. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is the Hottie M. The Hottie M. <sighs> oh, the Hottie. Now, the Hottie M. No, nah, that goes on the eye. That's eye because you do get switches and whatnot, but the build quality of the actual mouse, it's just, it's just, look, man, like, it creaks after a yeah, while, you know. It does. If it, it does feel like cheap plastic now compared to every other mouse that yeah. we've tried. Yeah. Um. I feel like nowadays, I feel like this ain't. You it. know what? Yeah. This ain't it. Yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah. Cause there is another mouse out there that I'm actually gonna get to right now. That's oh, that's true. That's true. It. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And it, has, it, you know what? That build quality, that mouse is actually yeah. better than the freaking Geo's Hardy, yeah. and I actually like. You it get a, a cool tin, but that's about the like the only really solid thing that you get there. Yeah. You know, like it's like like you get a tin and yeah. some TTC golds or yeah. whatever the but hell. But for the long paints. run, dude, like I remember like three months in with the Geo's, I was using yeah. the, the, the the Hardy. Yeah. And dude, it started creaking like a lot. I I make videos like two months, three months after, like comparing it with the freaking uh, the Stardust. I mean, yeah. like, it's creaking as hell and all this stuff. And yeah, that's one of my major complaints. The quality in these things are not the greatest. Mm. Um, now let's go for the freaking. Let's go for this. This is the skull. Okay, the skull. Honestly, the skull has way better build quality than yeah, the Hadi. Like, I feel like. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah than Hadi. Yeah, I feel like this one's like I. You know, I mean, the better build quality, you get mm -hmm. all the stuff that the freaking uh, that the mirror. I mean, the Hadi M has. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's like if you like Ergomice, I feel like it's okay. You yeah, know yeah. What I, mean? I feel like there's better Ergomice out there nowadays. Yeah. But back then, it was like, it was actually pretty damn good. We're gonna make this monster list like last year would have been like up here, right? But. I feel like this one, out of all the freaking hottie mice that we've tried, mm -hmm. this one has like the best build quality. It, it does, you know it mean? does, it does. Yeah, so this one's all right. Now let's go for the hottie S. This oh, one's, I dude, feel like this I one's... need a haircut. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking like a hobo on here. I'm sorry, I'm a bad. <laughs> uh, no, let's go for the the freaking, uh, what do you call it? The, um, hottie S, hottie right? S. Hottie S. The hottie S, I feel like it's okay too. I'll die. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of people who main it, even though they say that, oh, build quality is absolute garbage. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's the shape that counts, right, guys? So, yeah. So, that, that one that one for sure is gonna be in the eye. Um, yeah. At least for us because uh, the shape was okay. The shape was pretty. The shape, the shape was okay. The shape was okay for sure. The build quality sucks though. Like, yeah. A lot. The Jewels. I don't know, man. Like get like get a different plastic or something. Yeah. Uh, Jewels needs to make like their mice with different plastics because their plastics feel so flimsy, so cheap. Um. Yeah. No. Build quality on most Jewels mice are just garble. Yeah, they're not. They're not there. Um. Now nah, the H and Gaming Series M. Yeah, this is yeah, Sirius yeah. M. Sirius M. This one is... Put that in I. No, 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 no. No, put that in I because... Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. It, What's the price? What's the price? It's $70. Just saying it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, did you get it for 40 or 50 I got it for 50 but the bill quality is not there. The other mice yeah, are worth 50 no, 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 40 yeah. 30 oh, bucks yeah, yeah, no, better. No, no, and right. it doesn't come with any extra goodies other than the freaking whack-ass freaking grips. Like, yeah, dude, mm, dude, dude, those grips are so... though Those have to be... Uh, just as bad as Corpet Corpet grips, right? Oh yeah, I feel like seventy bucks. Yeah, yeah. The same name, like no. Nope. But if you want to get a freaking uh, what do you call it, Ultralight two on the cheap way, it's way better than spending one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, go with that. But even then, like no, there's yeah. way better mice out there for your money, dude. Um, let's go with the freaking what is this? This is the Mira. Oh, Mira S Mira slash Mira M. Now this one, this one, out of all the HGB mice, yeah, this one's all right. This is yep. all right because the build quality in it was good, the mm -hmm. kill was good. Mm -hmm. Um. I didn't have no complaints with the mirror, the mirror M. But the mirror S did come out a little iffy at first with the little scroll wheel yeah, rattle. Yeah. But they fixed that with the new version, the colors and stuff like that. They sent us out one, and that one was pretty solid too. So yeah. the mirror S and the mirror M out of all the G was my, out of all the freaking uh, ancient gaming mice. Yeah, that one's like those are actually pretty one, decent. And this one's yeah. actually okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So let's go with the freaking M7. Uh, oh man, dude. 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 Okay, that one. Nah, no. this ain't. No, 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 no. I don't feel like it's trash here because. It no, does come with thirty three eighty nine. Yeah, it's a good shape. No, the you know it does give you yeah. uh, an extra pair of feet. The yeah, cable is really freaking good. The shape's really good. The only thing that holds the mouse back is the quality control yeah. on that thing. It is absolutely garble. And, and it, as as a matter of fact, it's 
it's so garble, you almost put it in the trash here, and I almost yeah. did not defend that. But, yeah. I mean, I just can't deny that Cooler Master really did try with this mouse, Dude, and I could definitely see that they did, you know? The MM710 had the worst side flicks. I couldn't play with it without freaking activating the side buttons. Yeah. I was hoping that they would fix that issue with the M711. Yeah. They didn't do that either. No. So I'm like, okay, so. We have we have, nah. we have both the M710 and the M711, and they both have the exact same issue. Horrible uh, sidewall side flicks. Yeah. Side and flicks. like, it's literally not even funny. You could grab it and use the minimal amount of force, and it'll activate yeah. the side buttons. Yep. It's so yep. stupid. Yep. And for those people who say that, uh, their, that their mice doesn't have that, you must win the lottery because yeah, yeah. um we got two in a row both nah. of them are both bad so yeah. i don't know man yeah no definitely yeah no this ain't it chief get away from, just stay just stay away from it yeah sure. this ain't it. <laughs> all right so m720 now this one now nah, put that in put that in give me your money 100 okay. 100 dude don't make them don't don't make all those five <laughs> fans of the m720 mad dude because they will they will just they will find dirt on us and they will put our trash. I mean, they will put our channel down to the trash, dude. They will literally come to our house and beat our, and beat us up, dude. I am absolutely terrified. Just out of sheer fear, that's going to go all the way to the game of your money's right now. Dude, like, let's just move on to the next monster. dude. Jesus, I don't even want to. <laughs> all right, let's go with the freaking Model D minus. The Model D minus was all right. That was It was all right. The shape wasn't for me. The build quality on our copy, at least. It's yeah. actually pretty good. Yeah, um, I dropped it and uh, and the show at the back uh, popped out, but yeah. you were gonna put it back. Yeah, in. it was so that's high. Back. Yeah, <laughs> even then, like the, like build quality was okay. The shape was okay. Um, the cable was pretty okay. Like it was it's okay. It's an okay mouse. I feel like now there's better ergo mice that you can come out with. Uh, you could definitely choose. Um, but the Model D minus was it's okay. Like other than that, like I didn't have any issues. Like mm -mm. there is no issue. Like like nah, I said, yeah, the build quality was actually pretty good on our thing. Like yeah. Other than that, like, yeah, zero, they literally, like, I couldn't find a, a complaint, mm -mm. but, yeah. Um, now, let's go for the freaking, uh, what is this? This is the uh, uh, Model O Minus. Model Minus? Model Minus, I feel like it's, hmm, I feel like. It's all right. It's, Look, yeah, it's all right. If you want it's a really right. small mouse, like, again, yeah. like, you have options, you know, you get, like, the Hot ES, or yeah. you get the Model O Minus, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, I think 50 bucks for it, it's not, it's, it's not, not bad. It's, it's not, not bad, bad, you, know? bad. You, get, you, get, you get what you pay for, yeah. it, I feel like. Um, now with the model O, now this one is all right, same thing, like, yeah, same like this thing, it's all right, same thing, yeah, it's you already right. can't, is okay, you know, shape is okay, like I feel like 50 bucks, it's okay, yeah, um, now awesome, I'm more, yeah, now the awesome, this, this ain't it, chief. chief, uh, it's an S2 shape, that's and the cable's really loose, that's about the only good things I can really say about it, yeah, um, you're paying 70 dollars for a mouse that doesn't feel 70 dollars, um, at that point, you can literally buy. Any other mouse that's cost around fifty that has way better build quality, it's probably gonna last you a lot longer. Yeah. Um, but it's a shape. It's a shape that people like. You know, like yeah, this yeah, two yeah, shape yeah. is actually pretty good, and this shape is resembling to that. It's res it resembles that shape, right? Yeah, but even then, even like, then, like if you're gonna I, pay seventy dollars for like, a mouse that's probably gonna break down you within yeah, like a month or so. Too, oh yeah, and the coating sucks, and then they give you grips, which they <sighs> look. It's better than the coating, all right. Yeah. So. You know, there's that but if you're gonna pay seven dollars just go ahead and give it to zawi you know or it's just you know you, you might as well get the get the real thing you know something yeah, that's yeah. not gonna break down on you so that's why it goes into this in it chief yeah now let's go with the freaking this is the mp01 the mp01 give your money give your money i feel like the bill quality thing is so fucking good like so freaking good, like sorry. with them coming out who even buys zawi mice yes like, seriously it, dude. It, like seriously like if you are a serious uh esports player right yeah um and you're still buying a brand new zom a brand new zowie mouse in 2021 just you're wait. probably only doing it for the shape yeah uh but even then that's a really sorry excuse in my opinion um so it's like you're kind of just shooting yourself in the foot there yeah. um you I don't even have to buy you know like an mp01 you know what i mean yeah. you can buy any other mouse yeah. that's lightweight you know and that has like yeah. in the market but yeah with these guys coming out who just wait into what I can't wait to see what other shape they come up because so far these two shapes that we've tried they're pretty good they're pretty they're pretty good. good the outside X now the outside X yeah I feel like yeah give same me thing, money give same me money like, right there's what what uh they're like sixty bucks they're right? sixty bucks they're sixty, yeah, bucks. 60 bucks I mean yeah oh the, the shape the quality's good the shapes are good the shapes are good and the freaking the feet on this one they made it thicker yeah so yeah that's they another did. good thing they did. so yeah I feel like you don't hear that scratchiness and nah, it's not that I did with nah, you know, while using it so nah so made it a plus yeah so definitely like. Zawi mice 
they're not they they won't be here for long. I feel mm-hmm. like Zawu's not gonna be in the mass market for long if they keep letting Vaxi come up with all these shapes. Because yeah. freaking Zawi has not done shit. They haven't done anything to improve their freaking mics, dude. They haven't tried going lower mm-hmm. way or at least fixing the cable, giving us better feed or something like that. But other than that, like yeah, like freaking Vaxi, yeah. I feel like these two mics, yeah, deserve attention. Give me Literally. Money. Now let's go with the X Lite. The X Lite, I feel like you can't go wrong. Yeah, no, you can't go no, wrong no, with no. This. You definitely can't. I feel like, okay, so what you get, you get grips, you get extra feet, you get a mouse bungee. Yep. Um, and the freaking mouse. Okay, this is one of the bigger ergo uh, really lightweight, lightweight mice. Really light that we've like, tried. It's uh, as a matter of fact, I actually have it uh right now, like on my desk, just because yeah. you know I was bored using all the other mice. Yeah. So you know I was like, you know what, let me go back to X Lite. Yeah. It's really lightweight, yeah, dude. Like it it's is. really lightweight, and I'm 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 just surprised that it's because that's a big mouse, by the way. It like is. it's not a small mouse. It's more on the definitely on the medium to like large hand size, but I'm just surprised at how big that mouse is, and it's so light. I was like, holy hell, dude. yeah. So yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely like I I feel like you can't go wrong with it if you're medium to large hands for sure. For sure. Now, oh. Dude, Pulse Fire Haze. Pulse Fire Haze. If there was a Come higher on. tier, probably gone up there, but yep. you know, we're gonna put it in the give him your money tier. Yeah, give him your freaking money. Come on, 50 bucks. You get TZ Gold switches, you get uh grips, you the build quality is pretty damn good. Quality. The K was pretty damn good. Like you do get grips, but if I'm being honest, uh we probably have to make a video on this. Oh, yeah. But uh the grips on the Pulse Fire Haze, at least on uh at least like on our copy, man, dude. They just started coming off. They just started to like peel off. Which is kind of sad. Right? Uh, the one on the side, Moss 1 and 2. Oh, and even shoot. And even the other one, uh, the other one like on the other side. So oh, so shoot. basically all of them. They just, I don't know what happened. I guess the adhesive wasn't strong enough. Yeah. I guess like, you know, on ours. Which kind of makes me sad. But, I mean. Still, dude. If you bought this mouse, because sometimes the mouse goes on sale. We saw it go on sale for, for like 35, time. right? One time, yeah. One time. And if you bought it for 35, you really can't complain shit. I mean, hell, even uh, fifty dollars, uh, you you, yeah, you yeah. still can't complain, dude. I the shape's still good, the coating is still good. I yeah. do, I can use it yeah. without the coating, you know. Yeah, without the grips. So, yeah. you know, like it's just yeah, it's 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 definitely uh, give them your monies and give it a try. It's not a model. Yeah, not a model. <laughs> not a model. <laughs> okay, so the pony symmetrical. Pony symmetrical. I feel like you can't go wrong if you're looking for. Well, no, the pony symmetrical. I feel like it's all right. I feel like it's all right because the sensor is like um. Thirty twenty five. Thirty twenty five. Thirty thirty five. Something like that. Right? No, you know what? No, polar symmetrical. I don't think you go wrong for wireless. Yeah, no, for no, no, wireless, no. Mouse, wireless. No, for wireless mouse that cost eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Uh, the sensor could be better, but other than that, the build quality is good. The shape is good. I actually liked shape a lot. I wish I would have gotten the one with the solid size. I just didn't know they had another yeah. version. But I got the honeycomb one. Regardless, yeah. I like the freaking mouse a lot for eighty bucks. I feel like you can't go wrong with it. No. If you're looking for an S two kind of style shape. Yeah. Wireless, yeah, I don't feel like you can't go. Yeah, wrong. now the opponent's ultra custom. This one was okay. I don't die, like, yeah, it's a little build- too big. It's not even that lightweight. I don't see if I remember correctly. The build quality on this thing is build quality was, 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 uh, was not the greatest. If I'm being honest, it, the freaking symmetrical was better, but it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. I don't, I, but it wasn't like the, the only, greatest. The only thing I remember about the build quality and that was that the side buttons were pretty whack. That's about it. I don't think I had yeah, any like, control with anything yeah, else. No. With it. Like, it did feel solid to me, yeah, uh, but uh. Yeah, the points measure go down one just it's all right. Better, you know, it does feel a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now let's go for the viper mini. Oh, dude, come Vi- on. that's a viper ultimate. Oh, I'm sorry, viper ultimate. Viper ultimate. I feel like you can't go wrong. Honestly, you can't go wrong with it. If you're looking for, dude, if we put yeah, these yeah, mice yeah. up there, this yeah, one with the viper dog, ultimate, it yeah, has to be yeah. there. You know what I mean? You yeah, can't yeah. go wrong with that with that wireless mouse, dude. They, and the reason why it goes up the two is because they were actually the one of the first companies to actually compete with. The Jeep wireless, wireless and were. they made them, you know, ch- you know, step up their game, you know. Yep. So, hey, props to that. Can't go wrong, honestly. Yep. So now let's look for the freaking Rock Cat Burst Core Slash Burst Pro. Come on. Obviously, give me your money, dude. If you don't have the money, you get the thirty dollar one. It's still good shape. Uh, same clicks as the Pro. Yep. Um, the only difference is that cable and feet are literally not the same, and sensors not the same. But, you know, lift up distance is something that uh, I feel like uh, either you like it or you hate it, so that's all personal preference. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you do get the Pro, heat treated feet. Yes. Uh, well, you, well, you get like another pair too. Yeah, you get two that pairs. heat treated p- yeah. feet. Really loose cable. Uh, really good sensor. You yeah. really can't go wrong with it. The, okay, the coating sucks on the Pro though. Oh yeah, the core. Yeah, it has the better coating by yeah. the way. Yeah. So now let's go for the Compare Ultra. All right, so this, ah, this ain't cheap. This ain't cheap. This ain't cheap. Yeah, for seventy freaking dollars, dude. Yeah, at the time dude. that we paid seventy dollars. 
not a a thin and a rubber cable, super flexible print. Or like this no. is about flexibility, like eighty five percent like flexibility. It no. was it was disgusting cable. Um, the uh the feet were absolutely whack. The shape is so aggressive. In fact, <coughs> it's so. In fact, it was so aggressive that whenever I used other mice and I tried to go back into it, I couldn't even play with the mouse. Dang. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a mouse that if you're gonna like. If you like really aggressive ergo shapes and you really have to know what you like, um, I guess go ahead and give it a try now because things like 40, 40 bucks now, yeah. like, so, so something like that. But if you did get it forty bucks, it's all right. It's all okay. If yeah, forty yeah, bucks yeah. it is all right. But if but you got a seventy, nah. For most nah. people, yeah, that's gonna be a this and it cheap. It's just, yeah. it's just too aggressive, honestly. Yeah, uh, skull mini. I feel like Skull Mini was okay. This is one of yeah. the smaller shapes. It was yeah. okay. Build quality was actually okay. It was solid. It was yeah, actually it was, solid, surprisingly. It was actually better than the freaking, mm-hmm. uh, than the freaking Mira S. Mira. Than uh, Yeah, the Hadias, I mean. Um, but, sh- I don't know, like, the shape, I just couldn't get used to the shape. Yeah. Like, I don't know, something about the shape. But, yeah, I feel like it's all right yeah. f- uh, for the for the, for the the value. But, yeah. Um, now, let's move on to the... Oh, my God. If you don't know who freaking Stash XP and what the freak and the whole freaking video we made on it, all right, Let's just say let's. I'm gonna break it down to you guys really freaking quick. We bought this mouse for, well, no, this mouse was on sale for sixty bucks, and we made a Reddit post saying, "Hey, this mouse is sixty bucks. This is the OEM shape. This is actually the freaking shape that the freaking what do you call it the um the Scorpion Marvel Scorpion yeah, was Marvel, Marvel Scorpion. Scorpion yeah the Marvel Scorpion um except this one has a better build quality and it was advertised at being a lower weight. Yeah, and it came with. It was supposed to come with like freaking grips and extra cables. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Switches. I think a better sensor too. And it, well, well, it, it did come with. Did they, it did come with better sensor. Yes, it did come yeah. with better sensor. But it was supposed to come with those other things. And we got it. We got like a little small cardboard brown box. Oh yeah. And that's it. Like nothing else came. Like just the mouse. Yeah. And I was like, dude, why are you gonna freaking false advertise the hell out of this product if you're not gonna include those other extras? Like, dude, we yeah. paid forty five bucks. Imagine we would have paid sixty. Yeah, I feel that like was that was their. I think I do believe that was their original price, but they had a sale on it, right? No, no, no. We, I made that Reddit like that. post. I made that Reddit post. It, it got like a freaking lot of freaking upvotes, and then they changed the price. That's what happened. Yeah, but, so I was like, yeah, no, no, it's just yeah, not, trash tier, bad. trash tier. If it would have been <laughs> something lower than trash tier, it would have been they would have gone there. But yeah. you're lucky. Yeah, you have to be in the trash tier. Exactly. So now let's look for. Let's that's the Viper this. Mini. Now, this is the Viper Mini. Viper Mini, come yeah, on. Come man. on, that's scary. There's a lot of people who actually made the Viper Mini, so. It's a good dude. I tried yeah. it again recently. The freaking curves on the side, they feel really good when I raise my thumb. Like, it's a really good, like, it's a good shape. Not my favorite shape, but it's a good shape, and I can see why a lot of people like it. The build quality is good. It's lightweight. It's 40 bucks. The feet are actually pretty decent. Um, cables build quality I, is good. The build quality is like the only like major complaint, and even then, like the bottom build quality is the only major complaint. What do you mean? Like, like no, 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 like the top freaking, tier. I mean, I'm sorry, not the major complaint. Like the cable is only complaint. Oh yeah, yeah. cable is only complaint. The build quality is good. Yeah, uh, but even then, they freaking put the uh, screws underneath the sticker so you could paracord easily. So you don't so. have to take out the feet. Yeah, it's yeah, just so, so mm, yeah, yeah and definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that X one, the X one. I feel like this one for the shape, through the shape for claw, dude. I feel like you can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah, you can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. If you are shape. a... Yeah. I'm sorry. I almost yawned there. Uh, if you are a claw slash relaxed claw player, can't go wrong. cannot go wrong with the XM1. No. Um, heck, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even go as far as giving you monies, but at, at that point, you're arguing that... Because uh, how much is the mouse? Is it like, what, 60 bucks? It's 60 bucks. Yeah, really? this one's 62, and they give you... Uh, another extra pair of feet of extra, extra feet, feet so um, yeah no 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 it stays in the can't go wrong uh, doesn't mean that it's definitely not a bad mouse because it's, it's not no, a bad it's, mouse it's, it's a really good, good mouse uh, it's just uh, yeah I don't know I don't know it's just it, by you, the way like you get better value with the Rocket Burst Pro by, by the way we're speaking from the Gen 1 XM1 we haven't tried yeah the we XM1, haven't tried the XM1R yeah, or, or any of them XM1 ones. 35 RGB, or XM1 whatever. yeah you know like the other 20 you know other XM1s out there but yeah but yeah for sure it's definitely a can't go wrong yeah, black claw, claw, claw player the extra M42 now this one give me your monies hands down okay why give me your monies two shapes in one yeah uh, feet are not bad at all yeah. Build quality on that thing is solid as hell. One of the best, uh, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, and clicks. I don't know why they they they, they sound use, really damn they, good. They feel good. Yeah. They feel good and they sound good. 
the only complaint I have about that mouse that is that dude. whack cable. Absolutely disgusting. Nobody can tell me. Nobody can tell me that that cable is not stiff. Like if you're telling yeah. me that cable is not stiff, uh, you're literally just fanboying out for them. Yeah, um, that that's it though. That's my literally my only complaint. The good thing is though, Zai's mouse, the new one, yeah, is gonna have a loose cable. And yeah. I, and I am hoping that every other extra five mouse that comes out yeah. after this. Yeah. has a loose cable Seriously. you know what I mean because this cable was just too damn stiff hopefully he doesn't make it too loose if you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke <laughs> alright now let's move on to the extra M4 this one I feel like I feel like this one's alright the shape is really aggressive yeah like, yeah really yeah aggressive. it's really aggressive the build quality is good I feel like the build quality is good the Bil feet are, are, the, are good the feet are good I, I like the feet on it cable swag still yeah um but the shape is not like the, the shape best. is very it's unique very aggressive yeah, and it is quite aggressive. Uh, it's not as aggressive as the Rocket Cold. No, 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 no. That's why it's like I. Yeah, that's why it goes on I. Yeah, it's all sure. right. It's all right. Zephyr Mouse. Okay, now the Zephyr Mouse. Now we got pre. Uh, what do you call it? Pre-production sample. Yeah, basically, us. we um, we got like a prototype. Yeah, we got a prototype. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking... yeah. Um, the fan didn't really do anything. If I'm being honest, like yeah, I couldn't no, feel no. it much. It's definitely like the gimmick of the mouse, you know. What yeah, I mean? this is so. like, this is the reason you get it because it has a freaking fan in it, right? Yeah. The pill quality is good. The yep. shape is pretty good, but it was nowhere near as advertised mm -hmm. as it was. As they said, they said it was gonna be like seventy something grams, or like sixty something grams. It's like eighty two. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pretty heavy. It was pretty, it was heavy, pretty yeah. heavy. But other than that, I feel like if they made, I still feel like if they made this mouse without the fan and stuff like yeah, that, and lower, been, yeah, lower lower t lower weight. I feel like it's a pretty good shape, but I actually like the shape. It's just that, you know, it was not what it, they advertised. This ain't it right now. Yeah, this ain't right, it right, right now. now. Yeah. I feel like, you know, the mouse could definitely go higher, but as the one that we got, as yeah. our copy, remember, remember, like, we're talking about our copy. Pre production sample, yeah. It just wasn't it. It, yeah. just, it, just, it just wasn't it. So. Yeah. So now, last one, the S2. Now, where would you put this? Zawi S2. So, Zawi S2 at, in 2021, right bucks. now. 70 bucks. This ain't it. Yeah, this ain't this, it. This ain't it. Um, the the only thing Zao has going on first off right now you can't even talk about shape because people are literally copying their shape so you literally can't even say that oh but they were like the founders of the shapes okay fine whatever you're literally just trying to you're literally trying to find every reason to try to like defend them but the only thing that they have going on right now is how good their mouse build quality feels yeah. they do feel premium they do and mm -hmm. I could tell that they will last you a while so that's the only thing they have going on for them. Cables are whack. The feet are actually surprisingly not bad. They're definitely on the better side of the of like the Teflon feet. Yeah. Um, pretty smooth. So I really can't hate on the feet. The only thing I can say is that they are razor paper thin. So if you're using a hard pad, good luck with that. You're gonna need it after like you're gonna need to change feet after like 15 minutes of use. Um, seventy dollars though for a non lightweight mouse and um. Uh, a a rubber cable, cable. Yeah. yeah it's kind of just uh oh and they they also give you like uh a 3360 you can't even put a 3389 uh, in there whatever you know um when it comes to zavi i feel like the only thing they need to really fix is that stupid cable and yeah like feet like yeah feet. cable and feet and then i think it'll be worth yeah, you know 70 bucks so but. with the mp01 like the cable is better than the freaking rubber cable and i feel like the feet are better than the zavi stuff yeah you know what i mean so yep. i feel like they need to like they need to do at least that so it can move up you know, up in this tier list, yeah, but yeah. they're not doing anything. So nope. it's like, nah, this they're gonna achieve. keep on making the same mice with the same whack features, and they're not gonna change. So, so yeah, so yeah, that's guys. pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.